Hey everybody and welcome to this week's reading vlog. So I am starting this vlog off a little bit late. It's still Monday but it is like 9.30 at night, almost 10 and it's been a long day. I obviously had class this morning and I actually got out early but I stayed and walked around the track near our sports and fitness center for about an hour and then came home, had lunch, and then went to work from 4 to 7. Came home after that, watched the Bruins, and that's pretty much everything that's gone on today. So, that's how my day went. I haven't read anything since I last updated you guys on Sunday, so yesterday. Uh, no reading done, because I've been busy with school. But as far as what's going to go on this week, I don't have too much going on. I'm only working one day, or besides today, one other day, and that's on Saturday, and I'm working from 2 o'clock in the afternoon to close, which is at 9.30, and that's it as far as work. School officially wraps up, before, well, besides final exams, on Wednesday, and then our finals are next week, like I just said, and that's about it. I'm just trying to think, do I have anything else to update you guys on as far as reading or writing? Um, I do have some goals set for myself this week as far as what I want to accomplish. Number one is I want to finish The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I only have just about 150 pages left in this, so I can probably finish this out tonight if I tried hard enough. And I would like to start and finish my reread of Akatar because Akko Foss, of course, Frost and Starlight comes out tomorrow, May 1st. And my copy won't be here for at least a week because if you guys remember when I got my copy of Zenith by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings in the mail, I, it was signed and personalized to me by the authors. I'm using that same copy or that same same company again and I'm getting my copy of a report of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Mass signed and personalized to me. However, she is obviously on a book tour and the company that I ordered my book from is based in New York. So I have to wait until she stops in New York, hopefully that's soon, before my book can be shipped out. So it won't be here for between I would say five to seven days. So hopefully it's soon. But again, I really do want to reread the original trilogy before moving on to that. So, and then as far as writing, I would like to write 5,000 words this week. I don't know if that's going to happen. Anyways, that's it for now, and I will see you guys in the morning. Hi, right, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It is currently 11 o'clock in the morning, and as far as reading from last night, I did get some reading done. I am currently on page 392 of The Hate You Give by Andy Thomas, so I have about 50 or so pages left, so I could probably finish this today, and I would like to do that so I can fill my April wrap-up so that I can go up tomorrow. And that is it as far as reading, and before I go and let you guys go, I figured I would do a small little library haul, because I completely forgot to do this on yesterday's clip, but I did go to the library and pick up some books. So I figured I would show you it this in this haul. So the first one I got is actually the chapter by chapter book club book of the month for the month of May. And that is Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. This is a YA contemporary novel about ice cream. So it sounds like the perfect summer read. I've never read a book by Siobhan Vivian, but I've heard good things about her books in the past. So yeah, and I love ice cream and this sounds like the perfect summer read and I think this cover is so cute and the same thing on the back like how cute is that I've been hearing some good things about this from anybody who's gotten uh, some advanced readers copies of this and I know a lot of the bigger booktubers are once again doing paid promotion videos for it so it sounds interesting and hopefully I have a good experience with this one the next one I got I actually saw the movie trailer for this the other day, if you guys saw last week's reading vlog, on Sunday I went to see Ready Player One, by, well the movie adaptation of it, and oh my god it was fantastic. I really liked it, but I'll talk about more about that in a second. So I saw the trailer for this movie and I have never read the book, but the movie looks amazing and that is The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. I read uh, Alexander Bracken's newest book, which is The Drifted Tale of Prosper Redding. 
Um, I read that last August because I had an advanced reader's copy of it from NetGalley, and I really, really liked it. And this is her dystopian novel. I believe this was her first book. I could be wrong on that. But I know this follows characters who, I believe some sort of like plague takes over the land and anybody who survives it uh, gets these supernatural powers so that sounds great I've heard really good things about this I know this was getting a lot of buzz when booktube was first getting started so hopefully I like it because the movie looks fantastic the next one it was actually another idea I had for the chapter by chapter book club of the month um, pick for May but I decided to go with stay sweet I was going to do Sky on the Deep by Adrienne Young. All I know about this book is it has to do with Vikings. So that's pretty cool. And I believe our main character is a person of color. So that's always interesting. So I am hoping to get to all these books in May. Wouldn't that be fantastic? And the next one is so hyped around book two right now. Because the final book in this trilogy just came out. And that is Illuminae by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This one is huge. But I know it is told in like case files and different formats, so I could probably read this really quickly. It's sci-fi. I love sci-fi. Anything with sci-fi is right up my alley. And yeah, and I believe both of the authors are Australian, and that's really cool. I like. I've read a couple of books by Australian authors in the past. I've always had good experience with them, so I am very, very excited to pick this one up. And the last book I ended up picking up at my library yesterday was one that I had heard nothing but good things about this author in the past and I wanted to know what a good starting point with his books would be. So I saw Elliot over at Elliot Brooks do a video on the way you can read his books. I'll link it on the screen for you guys down below. And that is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. This is adult high fantasy. Now, I've never read adult fantasy in general and high fantasy is something that it takes me a while to get into and also but again I've heard nothing but fantastic things about Brandon Sanderson and his writing style I know the Miss Bourne trilogy is very very popular right now and I really do want to get into adult high fantasy and adult fantasy in general so I figured this would be a good starting place and I don't know anything about this book at all which is, I think, a good way to go into it because that's how I go into most high fantasy novels, not knowing anything. I usually end up liking them. So that is that. So if you guys have read any of Brandon Sanderson's books in the past, let me know in the comments down below if this is a good starting place or you would have any other suggestions on where to start because I would love to know. So that is my little mini library haul as well as what I have planned to do today. I have homework to do. Because, once again, this is the last week of classes before final exams next Monday. So I have some homework to do. Not a whole lot, which is good, but just some. Uh, and also, I would like to get some writing done, but knowing me, that will probably be put off until the last minute tonight because I have a gaming addiction. I've talked about this in a few vlogs before, but I've been really getting into gaming. Especially, I turned to one of my old favorite games, which is Wizard 101. I used to play that when I was a little younger and I just became addicted to it and ever since I got a job I whenever I've had the money I bought memberships so I've been playing that a lot I also just downloaded a game that I never thought I would be playing that is Fortnite <laughs> I haven't started playing it yet but my brother who is a huge gamer he loves gaming is suggested that since I love MMO games or massive multiplayer online video games uh, that I would try out Fortnite, so I'm going to try that out. I'm really thinking about starting a Twitch channel, which is kind of like YouTube, but it's more specifically geared towards gaming. So if you guys have any suggestions or you would like to let me, you'd like to have me start a Twitch channel, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to, but it probably won't happen until either later this year or early next year. But... I don't know, it's just up in the air right now. But that is my update for now. I'm going to go ahead and go finish The Hate You Give, and I will see you guys after. Okay, everybody, so it is now 12.15, and I just finished filming, but I also finished The Hate You Give by Andrew Thomas while I was 
you know, weaned film. And I ended up getting it a 4 out of 5 stars. I really liked it. Uh, there was just something missing for me that prevented me from giving it 5 stars. But overall, it was a good book. So, again, 4, four, four stars. And now I am rereading Akatar. I'm ready for me to be emotionally destroyed again by reading this book because it killed me the first time, it's gonna kill me again. So I'm gonna go ahead and reread this and edit my videos that I just filmed and I will talk to you guys later. Okay everybody, so I am back. It is currently about 1... let's see... one eighteen right now and I have just taken a break from editing for now and I wanted to give you guys a quick reading update. So I am currently on page... 40 of Akatar, and I'm just flying through this book because I read it before and it's freaking amazing. And we are just getting into the parts with the Fae, so not gonna spoil anything if you guys haven't read this series because please go read it, it's so good. I mean, yes, it's problematic, yes, it has its problems, but I, I, there's just something about this series that I just love because. Sarah J. Mass, man, she knows how to write, and I, can't, I, I just can't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go on a rant about it because I, you guys know, I just love this series more than anything, almost as much as Harry Potter. But you know, it's so good. So I'm taking a break from reading and editing for now. I am trying to decide what I do want to do. Do I want to watch BookTube? Do I want to do some gaming? Do I want to do homework? I don't know. I'm probably gonna watch some BookTube for a while and then do some gaming and then homework because I'm good at procrastinating. Anyways, that is my update for now. I will see you guys later. Okay, everybody. It is now 4.30 and I have finished editing my videos for tomorrow and next Wednesday and that's about it. That's everything I've done so far. And as far as reading, because I did do some reading while I was editing, when I got the chance, I am on page... 80 of Agatar. Once again, I'm just flying through this book considering I, you know, I've already read it before and I feel like I'm going to probably do the same thing with Akamoth. Not sure about Akawar, but I'm probably going to fly through these books so quickly because they're so good. But that is my update for now. I don't know how much read I'm going to do for the rest of the day, but I am hopefully going to get a little bit more into Akatar later today, so I will see you later. Good morning everybody and happy Wednesday. So I'm up bright and early for once. It is currently just past 8 30 and I have school in an hour and I'm just waiting for my mom to get back from a walk so that way we can leave. But as far as reading, I literally had to stop myself from reading the entire thing of Akatar one night. I almost stayed up until one in the morning reading this last night because I have a problem. But I got to page 382 before falling asleep, which means I have about 50 or so pages left. So I'll probably be moving on to Akapoff today. Uh, I love this. I'm not even going to say. I have just said way too many times how much I love this. <laughs> and, uh, you know, after... I went to bed, I spent like three hours reading fanfiction, so that's even worse. Okay. Anyways, that's my reading update. Uh, like I said, I have class in an hour, so I have to go to that. I'll probably finish Akatar up there, and then I'll bring Akafoth with me, because we'll be staying after school for a little bit to hang out with my friends. And yeah. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Alright everybody, so I am back from school. It is currently 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I've got some updating to do to right now. I finished Akatar and I ended up boosting my rating from a 4.5 out of 5 stars, which is what I originally gave it last year, to a 5 out of 5 stars. Never fails to disappoint. That first book is so good. And now I have moved on to A Court of Mist and Fury, which will probably take me a while to read, but who knows at this point. This is my favorite book in the series, like most people. But I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to feel the feels. Because, we're, like, I'm, like I said, I'm 17 pages and I'm already feeling the feels. So, yes. And I also got something in the mail, which was a pre-order. And you guys can probably guess what it is, but... That's right, it's here! A Court of Frost and Starlight is here! 
I, when I opened this package up, by the way, I was way too excited to box it on, unbox it on camera. I literally was so excited. I worked, I ordered it from Good Choice Reading, who I ordered my copy of Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings from, and they had it signed and personalized, that copy of Zenith. And that's why I ordered this copy of Akafas from them, because it's signed by Sarah J. Mass. Yes, my favorite author of all time. Yes, she's beaten J.K. Rowling out for my favorite author. Signed this book, which makes me want to bawl my eyes out in tears of joy. Like, I am way too excited. I now want to fly through Akafas and Akka War to get to this. But I also want to take my time so I can just properly fangirl over it with you guys when I finally get to this. So, I've heard nothing but great things so far, which is a good sign. I mean, this is a novella, so it's short, which is, you know, kind of unusual for Sarah J. Mass's books. But, you know what? It is what it is, and I am ready. And, oh, I just realized, in the back of the book, the last few pages are a preview of the next book <laughs> I cannot wait to find out what the next title is this is a sneak peek and I once I get through Agathos I'm probably not gonna read it because I want to know nothing because I know it doesn't fall right Sam and Feyre but I'm ready I'm ready give me book number five now <laughs> I am so so ready so that is my really exciting unboxing I'm so happy to have this in my hands and hopefully I will get to it before the end of the month. But, you know, a lot of the books I have in my TBR, which will be going up next Wednesday, are huge. I have the Agatar Trilogy, I have Lady Midnight, and a couple of the other books are from my TBR dryer are pretty large. So, that is my unboxing and my update. And my plan for right now is to go take some bookstagram pictures, which if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, shameless plug, but my username is at evilqueenbooks. The link is down below. Uh post pictures of this beautiful book on there and then I don't know we'll see what the night takes us anyways that's it for now and I'll see you guys later okay everybody so it is now five o'clock and I really haven't done any reading since I last checked in after my little fangirl moment with Agathos I haven't done any reading I've been watching book two but now I'm gonna do some reading I'm gonna continue on with Akamoff see how far I can get in this tonight and that's really all I have planned I have to do some homework later but I'll probably do that while the Bruins are on at like seven o'clock so that's my plan for now and I will see you guys later good morning everybody happy Thursday so it is currently almost noon and I have a lot of the theme for you guys so as far as my journey with Equimus and Fury, I am currently on page 412. Yeah, flying through this book just as good as I remembered it from last year when I read it. So, great book. Hopefully, if my p I keep my pace up, I probably could finish this today and move on to Akka War knowing me. I need to stop. <laughs> but it's so good. And I actually have tabbed a couple of things. These are just quotes that I really liked. I really, I did an Akatar too, uh, with one quote, but Agamoff usually has the more well-known quotes, like, to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered, that's in here, and, um, don't let the hard days win is in here, so I tab those up because I do really like those quotes, but anyways, that is my update as far as reading. What do I have planned for today? I don't really have anything planned. I had an orthodontist appointment this morning, and my mom's in Boston right now at a doctor's appointment. So, I'm probably going to do homework for the rest of the day, but I'm not sure. I'll probably either do homework or read the rest of this and move on to Agawar. I don't know. Anyways, that is it for now, you guys, and I will see you later. Okay, everybody, I am back. It is now just about 2 o'clock, and I have a package to unbox. This is from Book Depository, which is a online web store. And before I unbox this, I do want to say that I am one of the representatives and I have a link down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you use that link, you guys, I will get a very small commission, but I just 
wanted to mention it. And I already know what this is. You're gonna think, Jackie, don't you have enough copies of this book series? I'm like, yeah, but I won't talk more, so I bought it online. And just from saying that, you probably get it's probably can guess it already. So let's just get this open. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay, there it is! Woohoo! So I got the paperback version of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. The 20th anniversary edition, so I am a Slytherin, so I obviously got the Slytherin edition. So that is what this looks like, and just as a comparison, this is the hardcover. So, really cool. I have already pre-ordered my copy of Chamber of Secrets in hardcover, also in the Slytherin editions, because hashtag Slytherin Pride, and I think it's really, really pretty. I wasn't sure when they first announced the 20th anniversary editions, if I wanted to get the hair back, because to be honest, I am not the biggest fan of the all green color scheme they got going on. But after the, after getting the heart back in the mail and seeing how pretty it was last year, I was like, I'll go ahead and order it. So I did. And I think these editions are very, very pretty. And I can finally do another book haul, because it's been like five months since I last did a book haul. So I'll probably have that going up at the end of the month. I was waiting for this to come in so I could before I could do that. Oh my god, it is gorgeous like hopefully the lighting's okay so you guys can see this but it's really pretty I actually now that I'm looking at it in person I don't know which edition I like better the black or the green but I don't know and I'm really excited when the Chamber of Secrets edition comes out at the end of June it's gonna be just like the black edition except the colors are gonna be reversed so that's pretty cool so it's gonna have the this this color scheme, but second book in the series, so really exciting. I need to plan to do a reread to Harry Potter this year. So I was planning on doing it in the summer, but it was I'm taking a summer course this fall or the summer. That's online, but I do want to focus a lot of my time on that. So I might do it in the fall or the winter because that's my other option. But it's been a couple of years. I'm really in the mood to reread it. So yay! Really exciting. New edition of Harry Potter to add to my massive collection because I have a problem. Anyways, that is my unboxing and my update for now. I haven't really done any reading since I last did video, you guys. I'm still on page 412 of Court of Mr. Fury. And yeah, I am going to do some reading in a little bit after I do some homework and finish watching BookTube. But yeah, that's it for now and I will see you guys later. Hey everybody, so it is now 8 o'clock and... I have another quick update. So I haven't done any reading since I last checked in, but I got a book in the mail that I wasn't expecting to get, but it's very interesting. So this is called The Fifth to Die, and this is by J.D. Barker. This was sent to me by HMH. So thank you so much to HMH for sending me this. And this was unsolicited. I did not expect to get this in the mail, but you know, I'm grateful anyways. And this comes out on July 10th. And all I know about this book, it is a, a psychological thriller, I believe it's adult, and it is the sequel to the book The Fourth Monkey, which I actually have an arc of from NetGalley that I was supposed to read and review like two years ago, <laughs> but I haven't gotten to yet. But I do want to read both books before this one comes out in July. And again, adult psychological thriller, I think it might have some dystopian elements to it, but I could be wrong. And this is pretty large for a thriller, it's over 500 pages. So, interesting. So, thank you again to HMH for sending me this, and I will have a link to pre-order it down below. And that's my update. I figured I would just show you guys that. It was a nice surprise to my day. And I am going to go, well, hopefully read, maybe do some homework, and then do some reading, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday, and happy Star Wars Day. <laughs> Today is May 4th, so May the 4th be with you get it okay anyways uh, today I don't really have anything planned um, I do have a reading update and it's quite a big one I finished <laughs> Court of Mist and Fury last night oh lord the series is going to be the death of me so now I have moved on to Aqua War Court of Wings and Ruin I actually haven't started reading it because I had to get myself emotionally prepared for it last night because I know this this book when I read it last year because it was my favorite book of the year destroyed me internally so we'll see how I do with this one but I'm excited 
It's gonna be a good one. Aquapos is sitting there waiting for me to pick it up. I'm gonna be like, I'm coming. I'm coming, Aquapos. <laughs> I just gotta get through this one. But I know I have a feeling I'm gonna fly through this book, even though it's 700 pages. But yeah, that's my update for now, and I will talk to you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. So it's currently 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And it has been kind of a okay reading, how I put it, sprint, I guess you could call it, since I last checked in with you guys. So right now, if I can move my stuff out of the way, I am on page 168 of A Quarter Wings and Ruin. And I'm just kind of taking my time with this one because it is so large. I mean, it's almost 700 pages. And this is my least favorite book in the series. The first book actually is, but you know, I'm actually kind of going into this one, my reread of Akawar, with an open mind just in case I do spot anything that's problematic. Because I know a lot of people say that there is um, ace phobia included. So I am keeping my out. I haven't spotted anything yet that's like blatantly there in front of my eyes, but again, I'm keeping my out. So, so far so good. So and I'm also tabbing it up. I think I mentioned that earlier. I've uh, tabbed up a few of my favorite scenes and a few of my favorite quotes in each of the books. So that is my update for now. I actually have to do some revising on my history final paper for Monday, and I work at two o'clock. So. It's gonna be a busy day, so I will check in with you guys later tonight. Okay, everybody, so it is now Monday, and it is time to wrap up this week's reading vlog. So this week was a really good reading week. I managed to finish two books, and they're part of the same series, and I finished A Court of Thrones and Roses by Sarah J. Maas, which I ended up giving a 5 out of 5 stars, as well as its sequel, A Court of Mr. Fury, once again by Sarah J. Maas, and I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars as well. So not a great week as far as quantity, but as far as quality, it was a great week for reading. And I am still currently uh, reading A Court of Wings and Ruin on physical book, and I am on page 200 of that. And on audio, I have moved on to Salem's Lot by Stephen King. And on ebook, I am currently reading The Fourth Monkey by J.D. Barker, which I have the sequel to right here as an advanced storage copy called The Fifth to Die, and this will be linked down below along with the other books that I read this week. And anyways, that is all for this week, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The links to the books I mentioned this week will be linked down below. As always, along with all my social media links and blog, means that I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye! Okay everybody, so it is now Monday, it is time to wrap up this week's vlog. So this week was a pretty good reading week. I finished three books this week, the first of those being They Hate You Yeah by Andrew Thomas, and I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. Really good, can't wait to see the movie. It was a really great read. The, in the last two books, I should say, are the books that I was most excited to reread this year, and that is A Court of Thrones and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury, both by Sarah J. Matt's books 1 and 2 in the Akatar series, and I am giving both of these 5 out of 5 stars. Highly recommend you guys pick this series up if you have not already. I love this series. So that is everything that I read this week, and then as far as what I am currently reading, I am currently reading Akatar, or Aka War, I should say, A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Matt's, and I am on page... 206 of this. Still really enjoying it. I'm just taking my time with this one. Then on ebook, I'm reading The Fourth Monkey by J.D. Barker, and that is a really old arc I got like two years ago because I have the sequel has an advanced readers copy of To Die. This comes out on July 10th and I will have a link to pre-order this down below if you guys are interested in picking it up. And then audiobook I am listening to Salem's Lot by Stephen King and I am like an hour into that. So that is everything I read this week everything I am currently reading so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The links to the books I mentioned in this week's video will be linked down below as always along with all my social media links and with all of these I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for having me. Bye!